This way. This late. All right. The Our guide will give you attempt. opportunities to practice <laughs> your magic anyway. and educate yourself about wizarding law. Bit of a troubleshooting mess fiasco, but welcome to part two of Hogwarts. It should be running smoothly from here on out. I did a full. I certainly of the would have appreciated something like the field the guide when I was a student. As well as to mention, I got my co-host Rexy with me. Uh, she's feeling a little rough right now, so we're Why so... don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details she feels like? She's still be kicking around and with us for the ride. She might be a little bit quieter this episode. Rushing through that, just because... Not gonna lie, I've tried, like... Three times Clever, trying to fix it? the FPS of the Keep your eyes open for more night. opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Part of full redoing all the drivers and reinstalling windows. No time to waste. Yeah. You've classes to I attend. Fixed it. Lady, I'm I'm right with you. If you're if you're worried about hauling ass, all ass. God, I gotta stop swearing in the first five minutes of videos. It's not good for the algorithm. <laughs> ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames well, to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Yes, yes. You open up the map, yes. Yes, this is where we are. Return them all. Okay, continue. Go to this little icon. This one's gonna become green. Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> Do I sound sporadic? So we're only two minutes in. <laughs> and here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay, for you mentioned I don't know. Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay. Now let's ask about the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Now, what is butterbeer? Butterbeer? I'm not a Harry Potter person. I don't know these terms. Okay, so butterbeer, it's, it's a drink, okay. right? Okay. And it's what they serve at the pubs over and hogs me. Huh? And apparently, there's an actual bar that you can go to. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you actually, might expect. Spells, um, charms, jinxes, like all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. This, uh, He's a clever a girl, and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. It, but the lineup was past the block, and it was a Harry Potter themed bar. And I'm so sad I didn't get it because I have been to like the back since. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. 
He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Well, in fact, there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's we all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. What you think, Your bad ears guy must have been burning. Oh, yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And yeah, invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. Two in the back, it may right? require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. I have a feeling this is overpowering just a little. Okay. Sorry, including doing that reinstall of everything, it included a fresh install of OBS, and I forgot the export and import my settings. So, everything I had fine-tuned before is no longer nice and fine-tuned. Alright. So I guess, okay, yellow dot in the mini-map. Oh, no, we get this way. We get this way. Loading on an SSD! How unforgivable. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
<gasps> Why do students always frown? They should burn the castle down. Alrighty then. I thought I heard a conversation going that way. Spin the globe. I know that made you happy. I don't like that. There we go. Stupid! Is that all you've got? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Levioso. Levioso. One thing I've Levioso. learned as an unspeakable is yeah, the value no of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Up to the races. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. It's got a green cape. I'm fighting the Slytherin. All right, at the bat, are we? Let us begin with a basic cast. Up. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso, good. Now, well done. Levioso. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic cast. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This could be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I'm not going to get students with this again. I do. Let me also life with you. Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. He's throwing all of the not spells bad out. for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> That's for they'll do the I'll put you on the spot. Well. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. 
Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, let's talk to people. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Goddamn Hufflepuff. <laughs> huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. What do you think? We play it close to the chest? It's Slytherin, after all. The cunning. I'm talking about that guy. Oh. Close to the chest? Yeah. All right. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds Exclusive yeah, and sounds. unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Okay. So round and around we go, all the way up. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure there's one thing that I'm not missing. Making sure there's not a streamer. Adventure, are we? Leave me be! It was an accident! No, no, it was an accident! I'm feeling for all eternity! There you go, Josh voice. Get away from me! Get him! <laughs> Alright. Remind you of anybody? <laughs> Rexy? No. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. The, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my Yeah, goodbye. I don't know what unicorn for question marks have to do with. 
It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister of Boot or the Minister of Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a snack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh, kitty. Yeah, you can pet the cat. I saw that today. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sebastian Scholar's cat. Who does that sound like? Our cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Okay. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color the change the and movements. growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Akio. That is not Andy. bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's we'll enough of that. Goes. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Excuse me. Ah, I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very 
simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and... Splendid! Not to oh, worry. It's, it's on a toggle. Now, uh, think of this like... Very good! Okay. I was expecting a release. On release. Right. That's it! Uh, yeah! Oh, oh. Don't. <laughs> Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh, y'all eating apples. Let us do this. Hey, <laughs> excellent control there. He's up. That is how it's done. All right. Oh, that was a bit much. Hey! Quite impressive. Here we go. Phew. Yeah. A perfect score. Remarkable. I can't do that again. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No matter how see the Raven Claw outfit claims me to be. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Yes! Okay, get a feel for it. And end up there. Not exactly right. like you could let me miss it. Not that I might. Ah, fuck. Oh, no. I, I held on to it. I, I, I've automatically lost this. There we go. Just gonna wing it. That was too early. Good. Uh, the most I can do is get her 80 point. Let's catch up to 80 now. Here we go. Phew. Yeah. Well, Akio. Well done. That's okay. I won the first one. Boy, there's no many boxes involved. Very good, both of you. Well done. Mm. I have a feeling I'm gonna excel in dueling and not so much the charms. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise.
That's good to hear. It's a lot Nobody to take knows. in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use Accio on humans, if you're so... After my brother learned the summon... Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. A word, you if you would. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. All of my relatives work at the ministry. Every one of them. Kitty. I suppose I'll probably yeah, be so I'll say kitty. Kitty, kitty. Let's just go in the room. Um, the other one was waiting for Muggle school is so dull. Okay. Dog, Hogwarts. Play a game with me. You have to settle the cat. <laughs> okay. Oh. Obviously, that's when everything's been. As open a mouth, it's a mole. <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient. All right, so we're gonna go to quest. All right, so it looks like it's a map. Venture all's probably gonna be the closest that's gonna take us there. 
If I remember from a trailer, there's a lot of side quests early on in this first area here that we should be able to snag up. I try telling Hecate that This cannot possible. possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been wrecking my us. brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find Lumos. me if you stumble on something in Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It shows you right on the mini <laughs> This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. No better feeling than the window. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. I saw a book over here. Accurate. Yeah. Get another one. Magical place, Rexy. <laughs> Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? What do you want to do? Tell her or no? Why you choose this one? Uh, I don't know. Um, the clues. Okay. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that. I'm back with Galia. Put the hood up. Oh, change of pants. Ah, uh, so this is where all the pre order stuff is. You kind of look like a Sith. You want to see Sith? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just walk around with none. <laughs> Which I think, yeah, yeah, it turns into the masks. I can be a hoop myself. Oh, Let's see how weird that looks in the cutscenes. That is a sick ass cloak. Personally, I'm the mermaid. Oh, okay, so it's told that maybe there. Okay, something up here. I really have made a mess. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. 
Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. All right. The owl mask thing's throwing me off a little bit. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. Something to be like, yeah, combat. Also, I'm curious now. Okay, you can. That's not what I was curious about, but good to know. Okay, so what if we. Okay. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Ugh. Can it cut through there? That's okay. Akio! Two books left. So then they ought to be somewhere around here. Locked. Any book 
like he's causing a problem in here. Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Today was a good day, that is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. I had to empty the entire cauldron and start over again. He is such a menace, he thinks he knows everything there is about potions. He's always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced if he wasn't Professor Wesley's Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Athbrook smokes again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to him now, although I prefer meat pie. All right. You're only saying that. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Uh, yeah, Here you I, are. I won't. Well, <laughs> lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Let's look at the side quests, and then we'll uh, give that a wrap for this session here, and then the next one run. we'll start off with Hogsmeade. But let's go get into a duel. Let's see if there's any more of those floofs kicking around. A little choppy at first, but we good, we good, we're Gucci. I'm a horrible person for saying that word, however, let's go. That's it, we're going evil run, he said the G word. Look at the floof icon. I think it's up higher. Ooh, another ghost. Number one lock. Okay. Whee! Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice? He's actually a dripper. As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Whee! I'll get you for this. I think I saw something glow here. Revelio. Just came back to me. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about the club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Do you want to be cocky or take the compliment? I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. 
imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. What's that? Bounce cap on that guy's head? Let me also. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Choppy, but everything else was good. So, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. I thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, as well, stick around for the little ad that's going to be around. It's going to feature the, the podcast I'm on. That's also a radio show hosted locally nearby. Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, checking out my playthrough uh, with me and my co-host Rexy. She says nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, she just looked like she's a little feeling a little rough, but wanted this wanted to be around to see the story unfold. Uh, hopefully, next time we're feeling I'm feeling a bit a bit more awake, and she's feeling a little bit better. Anyway, y'all take care. Jumps down, and slides down the hill. I see shots going above his head. So she's like, oh great, on her one day off, you're trying to romance this Pan Am chick. I'm like, honey, it's V, it's not me. Come on. Brought back Thank some you. old Catholic school memories, did it? <laughs> oh man, yeah, you just Okay, you know the DMV sloth? <laughs> I know you're going with this. Yeah. This guy. You're listening to On the Rewind.